Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome. So in today's video presentation, we're going to cover a compound, little known compound called Fisetin. Um, now, the more I researched this, the more I came to understand it's a very, very powerful compound indeed. It aids in things such as blocking the mTOR pathway, um, reducing the effects of Alzheimer's, diabetes, etc. So without further ado, let's jump into the presentation and learn about what Fisetin is and what it can do for you. Fisetin, unlike other plant antioxidants such as resveratrol and quercetin, unfortunately has been ignored for far too long. It wasn't until recently that researchers became increasingly interested in and started to study this powerful compound's wide-ranging medicinal potential. So what is fisetin? Well, firstly, it's a flavanol, a yellow plant pigment that belongs to the flavonoid group of polyphenols. It gives colour to many different fruits and vegetables. Scientists are currently exploring its ability to slow the ageing process and extend lifespan. Its senolytic effect can selectively induce the death of senescent cells and improve health in humans. What's more, fisetin has powerful anti-inflammatory, antioxidant and immune supporting properties. Now, despite promising animal and cell based findings, research in humans is still in its early stage. To date, only three clinical trials have been conducted. Links to those trials are in the description below. So many different fruits and vegetables contain fisetin. Let's look at the food sources with the highest concentration. And the number in brackets relates to the micrograms value per gram of freeze-dried food. So strawberries, 160 micrograms. Apples, at 27 micrograms. Lotus root, at 6 micrograms. Onions, at 5 micrograms. Grapes, at only 4 micrograms per gram and kiwi fruit with just two micrograms per gram of freeze-dried food. So let's now move on to anti-aging and feisting. First of all, it blocks the NFKB pathway. Now the NFKB pathway is a switch that tells genes to produce inflammatory compounds. An overactive NFKB response is linked to allergies, autoimmune diseases, and some cancers. Plus, feistine blocks inflammatory enzymes that degrade our fatty acids. It also reduces the activity of a group of enzymes that cancers require to spread and invade other tissue. Moving on, let's look at feistine and the mTOR pathway. So mTOR's demands for energy and growth on our body can throw our cells into a frenzy. Metabolic waste builds up and there's no time to clean it up. An overactive mTOR response is associated with cancer, diabetes, obesity and certain brain diseases. By blocking this pathway, feistine helps to remove waste and enhance cellular metabolism. And here's the most intriguing part. Blocking mTOR increases longevity. In fact, blocking mTOR is the only intervention that's increased lifespan in all organisms studied to date. This is because once mTOR is blocked, autophagy is activated, a process of recycling damaged cellular components. Now, please bear in mind that the vast majority of these health effects haven't yet been confirmed in clinical trials on humans. So sticking with the anti-aging theme, the examples I'm going to give now relate to animal and cell based studies, although they should help with human studies in the future. So aging is characterized by the buildup of senescent cells. These are cells that stop dividing, become damaged 
and then start releasing inflammatory molecules. As we accumulate more and more of these senescent cells, the body starts to become affected. These cells start damaging healthy tissue. They contribute to many age-related diseases, from osteoporosis to cancer to heart and brain diseases. Removing senescent cells calms inflammation. It improves physical function and increases lifespan in animals. Certain plant compounds are able to destroy senescent cells without harming healthy cells. In 2018, a cell-based study of 10 such compounds found that feistine was the most effective. In old mice, feistine cleared senescent cells and increased their lifespan by over 10%. Feistine also extended the lifespan of fruit flies by more than 20% and yeast by more than 50%. As a result of this, a clinical trial is underway to see if feistine is effective for reducing inflammation and improving frailty and bone health in elderly people. So let's discuss uh, diabetes. In multiple animal studies, Feistine restored blood sugar levels of diabetic rats and mice to those of healthy animals. It improved their ability to control blood sugar levels by firstly increasing their insulin levels. It also increased enzymes that turn sugar into energy. It helped by removing sugar from the blood to store as glycogen in the liver and by reducing the liver's ability to make sugar from lactate and amino acids. Feistine slowed the progression of cataracts and protected the kidneys of diabetic mice by blocking inflammation. It also protected the liver of diabetic rats from high blood sugar levels by increasing antioxidant levels. Now another complication of diabetes is the hardening of the arteries and heart disease. In a cell study, feistine prevented high sugar levels from causing inflammation in blood vessels. So let's look at its anti-cancer potential. Now the next thing I'm going to discuss uh, stem from preliminary clinical research and animal studies. Feistine isn't approved for cancer prevention or treatment. So inflammation is linked to colon cancer growth, as well as its spread and resistance to chemotherapy. In a clinical study of 37 colon cancer patients undergoing chemotherapy, feistine at 100 milligrams a day for seven weeks reduced the markers of inflammation. In rats, feistine reduced oxidative stress and the growth of liver cancer caused by fungal toxins. In mice, it prevented the growth of lung cancer and boosted low antioxidant levels caused by a toxin in tobacco smoke. It reduced lung tumor growth by 67% in mice and 92% when combined with a chemotherapy drug. It also prevented the growth of new blood vessels supplying nutrients to the cancer. Another study found that feistine reduced tumor growth by 66% in mice with melanoma. Certain types of prostate cancer is fueled by androgens such as testosterone. Feistine slowed the growth of prostate cancer in mice by blocking the receptors for testosterone on cancer cells. Feistine also protected against kidney damage from chemotherapy in rats by reducing inflammation and boosting antioxidant levels. Let's now discuss cognition. Older rats given feistine experience memory and learning improvements. Cell studies reveal that feistine activates pathways in the brain that are involved in storing memories. In another study, feistine prevented memory loss in mice that were exposed to toxins. Feistine can easily cross the blood-brain barrier in mice. This is important as there is an ongoing debate as to whether compounds like feistine can reach high enough levels in the brain to improve its function. When overactivated, 
Immune cells in the brain cause neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Huntington's. This causes damage and inflammation to healthy brain cells. In cell studies, Feistine boosted brain antioxidant levels and prevented these immune cells from releasing inflammatory compounds in response to bacterial toxins. Alzheimer's disease involves the buildup of amyloid plaque and tau proteins in the brain. Feistine reduced levels of tau proteins in the brain by activating a process that removes these proteins known as autophagy. In mice with amyloid plaque, Feistine improved memory. It reduced inflammation and prevented the loss of brain cell function. In mice with Alzheimer's, it reduced amyloid plaque buildup and the loss of brain cells. Huntington's disease is a genetic movement disorder in which brain cells are destroyed. In mice with Huntington's, Feistine was able to improve decline in physical function and increase lifespan. So let's take a look at cholesterol. Feistine reduced high total and LDL cholesterol and triglycerides in rats fed a high fat diet. In diabetic rats, it doubled HDL levels and cut LDL levels in half. A cell study hinted that feistine reduces cholesterol by causing more of it to be released in the bile. Cell studies show that feistine prevents immune cells called macrophages from oxidizing and ingesting LDL cholesterol. When macrophages ingest oxidized LDL, they create fatty plaques that harden the arteries and cause heart disease. Now let's take a look at bone loss. Estrogens keep bones healthy. After the menopause, low estrogen levels put women at risk of osteoporosis. The rise in inflammation due to aging also weakens the bones. Feistine improved bone density and prevented bone loss in mice with low estrogen levels and inflammation. In cells, it works by reducing the activity of bone degrading cells, which are called osteoclasts. Let's move on to some of the pros and cons. Uh, so it may protect the brain and improve memory. It may delay aging. It helps control blood sugar. It may have anti-cancer properties, uh, but it does protect the liver and the heart. However, clinical trials in humans are lacking, uh, at present three to date. It's poorly absorbed by the human body, and it may have possible interactions with blood thinners. Also, safety implications in humans are not fully known. So do not age.org have started to carry this product uh, and they at present are selling 60 times 400 milligram capsules for 65 pounds sterling, which is around $86. Uh, and if you use the 10% my NMN discount code, uh, you will end up paying 58 pound 50, which is around $77.60. Well, I hope you found that interesting or helpful or both. Uh, and I'm sure you'll agree that um, Fisetin is an extremely powerful compound. Uh, feel free to check out the links below to the scientific studies that I use to put this presentation together and also a couple of the blogs that I, um, I also looked at. Uh, and again, feel free to use the 10% my NMN discount code if you think that you want to buy this from do not age .org. Well, that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. As always, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.